All right, so um, in this uh, video, we're gonna just I'm just gonna briefly discuss some options for working with lidar point cloud data in QGIS. Um, honestly, QGIS is probably not the best environment to work with point cloud data. Um, it's a bit limited on what you you can do at this point. Um, most of the functionality is provided through this last tools plugin. Um, which you can download from from this site. So my main goal here is just to show you how you would sync that up and just discuss some of the you know, processes that are available. Okay, so um, in order to get this, you're gonna have to download it and you know uncompress it and whatnot. I'll show you where it ended up on my machine. So on my C drive here, I've got this uh, last tools. Um, folder so that's the that's the toolbox basically um, note here it ships with some other things so we got, there's a QGS toolbox is what we're looking at and then there's also like one for arc and whatnot so um, anyway you download it uncompress it and then you have to connect to it okay so let me close this so to connect to it you just have to go up here to um, settings and then options and then um, under providers, you should be able to find last tools there. And then you're gonna have to set the file path to where it, it's located. So it might just on C, last tools. So you have to set that path and you have to activate it and then you should be able to use it. Um, once that's activated, then, um, once that's activated, then if you, uh, you should have this last tools toolbox over here in your, in your toolboxes. So, um, so one thing, so a couple of notes about this. It's uh, some of the tools are free and open source, and you can use them without any licensing. Some of them require licensing. Um, so if you, uh, you know, if you can't really use them without, uh, um, you know, paying or obtaining a license. Um, but I'm just going to point out some of the processes that are available here. So for example, under conversion. We can convert last data to shape files, last to text, or like ASCII type files, merge last files, um, uh, uh, last zip. I think that converts it into a, a la it's either uncompresses or compresses it. Yeah, so yeah, that's for like conversion, lasts in the compressed version shape file to last text or ascii to last so those are file conversion processes um, processing points there are tools here for filtering based on like return number or classification for example um, um, clipping colorizing the points um, so this is working predominantly with the point cloud They're like this thin tool that's used to thin out a point cloud if you want a reduced resolution version of it that might be easier to uh, to work with um, this folder here raster derivatives that allows you to create grids from the, the point cloud so for example create a DEM um, create a canopy height model um, create grids of other things let me just show you this real quick so you input some data, you can apply a filter, like just the first returns, just the last returns, just the class two, whatever. Uh, set a cell size and then put in an attribute that you want to calculate. So you could get the elevation or Z value, the return intensity, RGB measurements if they're included on the points or like the classification of the points if that's provided. And then you, what you'll actually get in each cell, you can set here, so lowest, highest average standard deviation and it's going to produce for you a raster output um, and then um, this uh, the ones that all are prefixed with folder that's nice because that allows you to actually like kind of like batch process files from a folder so for example we could um, extract out a DEM using multiple um, last data sets all stored in the same directory um, for the tools that are freely available, they'll run. Some of the tools that require licensing, they'll run, but they'll be watermarked or something, so they're not really like you know usable in an analysis. Okay, so we're not really going to do a lot with LiDAR data because, again, it is kind of limited currently in QGIS. But if you do work with LiDAR data and you want to do some work or processing in QGIS, this last tools is a good way to go. And even if you don't want to work in um, QGIS, this last tools can be ran independently. 
um, like with command line, or you can uh, run it uh, within ArcGIS even. Um, so that's kind of the go-to tool for processing and deriving things from LiDAR point clouds.